Because we've been challenging people to a shooey drink off on this tour, and we feel like this deserves it. Comes a nice flannel too, and uh, on their way to wager. Uh, we're here with uh, Tim Kershaw of the Flannel Panel. Um, Tim, um, your performance these days has been about as hot as um, those chicken wings there. Um, what's your uh, what's your secret, mate? What's happening? Just Tim, you there? Just commitment, bro. Commitment? Commitment to the cause. Okay. Well, while you fellas are f***ing around, I'm out there grinding. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Grinding it yeah. to the stone. You can, hear the pers you can hear the person in the background. He knows bullshit when he hears it. I'll make the bar there. <laughs> Come on, you said you know where Trelgan is? Most bogan town in Australia. I will put that out there. Bogan is f***, dude. We have a paper mill. It's famous, we have a paper mill that runs 24-7 and makes the whole town smell like shit. <laughs> and people ask me where is Trelgan, I say, it's about two and a half hours southeast of Melbourne, but you can smell it from St Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever need directions, just follow the wind, bro. <laughs> we're famous for the paper mill, we're also famous for the coal mine that caught on fire for a year and a half. Anyone heard about that? Yeah. No. This is how shit my hometown is, dude. We have a paper mill at one end, we have an industrial coal mine at the other end. There was so much air pollution when I was growing up, I took up smoking just to get some fresh air. <laughs> you know? And then when I was a teenager, that coal mine caught on fire for a year and a half. It was pouring toxic smoke into my hometown for a year and a half. This is how bogan my hometown is. No one gave a fuck. Dude, they actually liked it. They thought it was their version of Aurora Borealis, hey? <laughs> Check it out, Baza. <laughs> Mother Nature's beautiful, isn't it, mate? <laughs> what do you love, Trigan? <laughs> Can you do that after the show, bro? Like, if you, just, if you just miss one, just miss it and move on, you know? There's plenty more. <laughs> Fair? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna laugh because that was... But I like that you didn't Google it. I like that you don't know what a phone is. That's cool. <laughs> Most people these days just sort of bring a phone up. You're like, psst. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> I made a phrase up today, not a joke, I made a phrase up. We were talking about jokes, how you can go too long on them. Yeah. And I said, when you're great in a block of cheese, sooner or later you start taking skin off your knuckles. Ah, that's good. Well, Jimmy, no jokes. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, no jokes here. Jimmy, no jokes, and he don't care. I don't care. That's... Did either of you guys hear me do that when I was like eight years old and sweating from head to toe? You can hear by my accent we belong to a gun club. You probably heard of it. It's called America. <laughs> I'm slightly offended that you're laughing that much. <laughs> Well, when I was growing up, we grew up in a trailer park till I was about seven years old. Lots of problems in the trailer parks in America with the poverty and with the meth. And when I was growing up, we were so poor, couldn't afford a normal pet like a cat or a raccoon. I literally had a pet rock, which was fantastic until my mama smoked it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys down here get the that's a meth joke. That's good. Today I've just got I know I've got eleven bits. Um some are thirty some are twenty seconds and some are whatever, but I've just I've just got myself into this routine where I it's like boom 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 boom. So I just split it up into quarters as often as I can. And so yeah, um, I just know what the last line needs to finish on and we're bringing in um, gym showers. Um, Afghans and um, oh, chess. So, um, yeah, tell me a joke. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of a story. Right, then it's right. So, there's a bloke. That's a joke. Get over here. So, his mate 
turns up and there's this bloke's wife. She's <laughs> oh, I love it. That's <laughs> I'm not walking up to f***ing random women in Perth at 50 asking if I can buy them a sarnie. <laughs> Blokes are getting pepper sprayed for less than this. <laughs> I held the door for a woman the other day. She's like, I can get me a f***ing door, thanks, buddy. I'm like, is this f***ing what's happening? Is this what's going on? Is this what's going on? This is what my daughter's going to be marching for? One, two, three, four, we can get our f***ing doors. <laughs> yeah, what was she doing already? <laughs> uh, Pedro, can I buy a vow? <laughs> Right.